morning. Um, I am at my little hut here in Hampi, uh, India, and it is, I got up for sunrise, so it's pretty early, uh, and behind me is all these rice paddies, which are pretty beautiful, um, and as you can tell by my face, so I had a really good friend, Jenna Ballard, who was kind enough to give me a bunch of like acne spot treatment, and uh, I haven't had a chance to use it because things have been so hectic. And so last night when I actually had a chance to use it, I said, um, well, I'm going to go crazy. Any little bump I feel, I'm just going to put it on because I don't know the next time that I'm going to be able to use this. And I didn't realize that it was on my face because there's no mirrors in my hut until I took out the phone to record a video this morning. And I'd been wandering around this uh, small city for about uh, 45 minutes at that point and um, I had been getting a lot of looks. <laughs> a lot of people were inquisitively looking at me and it really, I was taking it like a real positive thing. I was like, wow, people are so friendly. Like everyone's looking at me and, and giving me this kind of weird smile. And then I you know, took out the phone and realized I have these spots on my face. And I covered myself up with this shawl and um, walked back to my hut in, in kind of like shame, like avoiding eye contact with everyone the entire way back. And it really got me thinking about perception and recognizing that our perception of what is happening around us is entirely based on how we feel about ourselves and the value that we are assigning to different aspects of life. So in this case, as a great example, I walked around and everyone who smiled at me, I smiled back and I was very friendly and I was very warm and very open and I thought, wow, this is wonderful. Everyone is um, excited to see me. Everyone is so friendly and so nice. And then as soon as I became insecure, as soon as I thought there was something wrong with me, all of a sudden, everyone who looked at me was judging me. All of a sudden, when when someone wanted to make eye contact with me, instead of being warm and open with them, I completely shut down. And that's how we go through life. So I really thought it was a, a great just example of how our entire lives can shift radically. How everyone else's actions could be exactly the same. It could just be someone trying to make eye can contact, someone trying to make eye contact or give you um, a, a brief smile. And what you make that mean about them and about yourself is entirely your own creation. And when we recognize that we have that power and something as simple as a few dots on our face can completely and radically just take you from happiness to self-consciousness, from, from love to embarrassment, Something that simple can have that drastic of an effect. And I think that it's great because it really showed me that if something that small can have that large of an effect, then what about all the bigger things? What about all the, the deeper self-consciousness and all the lifelong shame and embarrassment that, that so many people are walking around with and feeling? Um, all the time. So I decided to make this video with these on my face um, because I don't want to be embarrassed anymore of who I am and I don't think you should be either. I don't think any of us need to walk around with any shame for any reason because we are all on this ride together. You know, we are all exactly the same and we all share 
a, a huge amount of, of commonality. And if we can focus on how much we have in common instead of what we have different, the world would be a much better place. So this is me in all my glory. <laughs> Thank you for watching.